Welcome to this unintentionally Christmassy version of whiskeying. Uh, I'm Richard. I've got something under the tree today. Someone gave me a used present, clearly. I've been quite enjoying this barefaced triple oak um, for a while, but I thought I would uh, save the little bit of the last to share with you, my faithful audience. Um, so this is my second bareface I've done. I did the bareface 111, which is kind of a special one, a mezcal blend, uh, kind of a niche product. This is pretty much more straight up, um, uh, aging in uh, three different barrels, um, but still managed to have a kind of signature uh, bareface thing going on. So let's dig in. So on the nose, Coca-Cola right off the bat. Yeah. And maybe a little bit of uh, like sweet cigar. You know, there's there's no smoke on here. It almost though reminds me of their mezcal blend. It's just got a, like a little bit of some char to it. So let's uh, taste it. Yeah, there's something distinct and delicious to be clear, distinct but delicious about Bareface, and I don't know what it is about their barrel aging. There is something that's got like a meaty, charred, not like a smoke. It's not got that peat medicinal thing going on. Um, and it's got, so it's got this like uh, char flavor, but then there's a good amount of caramel underneath. So again, kind of uh, reminiscent of the Coca-Cola thing. And then on the finish. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's a fairly, uh, it's a fairly uh, robust uh, kind of whiskey. And by robust, ugh, pre uh, such words. Um, by that, I mean, it's got a little bit of an oily texture. If you roll it around the outside of the glass, you'll see it, it's got some legs. Uh, it leaves some, leaves some legs on the side of the glass, which means uh, it coats on the way down. Uh, and it's a, it's a pretty darn smooth finish for having a uh, pretty bold uh, flavor. Yeah, I've got to work more on identifying what it is specifically about what Bareface does, but they have absolutely nailed some signature flavor there that uh, that I quite love, and I just you won't taste anything else like it. Um, I have to follow up with them and figure it out. Anyways, Bareface, uh, this is uh, a value brand, and I don't mean value in that it's cheap. Uh, it's not even that expensive though. It's it's that great balance of some unique flavor like if you're into bareface you're gonna love this stuff and you're gonna stick with it um and for a pretty darn good price but i love the signature flavor that they're doing um bold sweet a little bit of that char a uh, little bit meaty it, it's it's got a lot going for it so once again this is a bareface triple oak uh give it a try a great canadian whiskey from a uh, a pretty pretty badass Canadian maker. Cheers.